the Spanish Masada, a stretch of over 144 miles on the Camino Francis. It's hot, reaching about 90 degrees. It's flat, and there's not much else besides endless wheat fields and a few poppies along the trail. A lot of people skip this part of the Camino de Santiago. I have yet to see another pilgrim. Is it really because of the heat? Or is it because it's not quite as beautiful as all the other sections? It's not necessarily what most people consider beautiful. Or is it because when there are no dramatic views, you're forced to look within? And I was having a lot of stuff come up today. During the next couple of weeks, I'm going to explore this question and many others while I make my journey across this dry and flat region of central Spain. I'll share with you the highs. I'm just loving life right now. The lows and a peek into some of the most emotional and magical moments I've experienced on this walk so far. It's so beautiful. I'm Crystal and this is Van Hala Adventures. This week is a bit of an emotional roller coaster on the Camino for what seems like so many different reasons. And even though I started on this journey by myself, I've met some pretty incredible people, some of whom I've spent nearly every day with. Here's the thing. Like Our time has come to part ways as some leave the Camino altogether, some continue on ahead of me, and others stay behind. It's the bittersweet part of the Camino. You meet people you love, but ultimately, at one point, you will go your separate ways. So I start off this week with goodbyes before setting off on the Meseta by myself. In the Camino world, there is something known as your Camino family. And generally speaking, it's usually people that you start the Camino at the same time with. You may not have come with them to, to France or to Spain or wherever you're starting from, but you usually start around the same time. So today I'm really excited because a bunch of us that met up in Orison and we've been kind of seeing each other off and on ever since then, just kind of crisscrossing and playing that tag team that happens on the Camino are all here in Burgos at the same time and we think this may be the last time that we're all together because we're all kind of venturing in different directions like I'm staying here for another four nights some people this is the end of the road and we're gonna have a gathering tonight I'm gonna bring you along for the ride and show you just the beauty of Camino family let's go look at these beauties right here Finally leaving Burgos today. I've been here for about five days. I'm starting out on the Meseta, which is supposed to be, from what I've heard, pretty grueling. There's not much elevation gain, but I guess because of the sun and it's just flat, it can be pretty, pretty tiresome. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm in good spirits about it. However, I did start my cycle, my period my moon time, and it's really an intense one. This should be interesting because there's no bathroom stops for about 12 kilometers, and I'm going about 12 kilometers today. 
So we'll see how this goes. It's already 8.30. And I don't think it's supposed to be that hot today. It's only supposed to be like 74, which means it's gonna feel like 85. Let's get going. Today, I set out from the bustling city of Burgos, a major stop along the French way of the Camino de Santiago, which marks the beginning of the Meseta. I begin the day passing by the Gothic Cathedral of St. Mary of Burgos, an impressive site built between the 13th and 15th centuries. If there is any major city you choose to spend an extra day on the Camino Francis, I would highly suggest choosing Burgos. Well, went to that podiatrist the other day and I got that mold to go around my pinky toe to separate my two toes so that I wouldn't just constantly be walking on, like on my pinky, if that makes sense. And the mold is not staying in place. Uh, this is the mold that I made. Looks kind of like gum. It's supposed to stay right in between my toes. It is not. I think I might tape my toes together. Yeah, that feels like it. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Well, I'm not saying this is probably the best idea, but... <laughs> I'm either gonna get more blisters or not. Feel good about this though. Feel good about it. I've been walking for about an hour now. I have yet to see another pilgrim. There is not one other pilgrim. It's really interesting not to have anybody around. I know there's thousands of people doing this route right now. Oh wow, look at that. You see that? Look at those. So pretty. Ah, that's that's sweet. I love seeing locals pass and they always say Buen Camino. But I can see why a lot of people skip the Meseta already. It's flat. It's not necessarily what most people consider beautiful. Happy with my little room. The, the couple that runs this, they have a full vegetarian menu downstairs, so I'm pretty excited about that because this town is really tiny. They even brought my bag up. My bag weighs just about 60 pounds. It's not full of clothes. I travel full time. And they also asked what time I wanted breakfast in the morning. Dinner also starts early around here, so it's 6 p.m., which is great, which is usually my goal, and then I don't have to eat at like a weird time. Overall, I'm really happy that I didn't do a long day today. I did do 12 kilometers and I walked really slow um, just cause I'm on my bleed and I wanted to just be gentle with myself and it was just kind of my own space today. It was literally a very solitude walk. There was nobody on the trail and all my friends have left. They're all at least a few days ahead of me right now. I felt a little lonely today and I was really missing my husband while I was walking and it was just really windy too and it was ominous looking out, all the clouds just made me kind of, I don't know if I would say sad, but really reflective and all I could think is, I just want to see my husband. For a moment I just kept thinking, oh, I want to go home, but my husband's traveling and that's really what I was walking with today, just my gratitude for my husband. I can see why people usually skip the meseta. For those that aren't usually just with themselves, it can be difficult because that's when the inner work really starts. So I'm looking forward to this time period. I think this next week on the meseta just to see what comes up. But the one thing that I kept thinking I'm doing this Camino for is to remember. To remember what exactly? I do not know, but I think to remember who I am, to remember what I love, 
to remember some parts of myself that I haven't tapped into in a very long time. I'm not sure, so it'll be interesting to see how this keeps going. I think it's time for a glass of wine, per usual, and some rest. Just feel like resting today. Hi, Freddy. Hi. Oh, did you want pets? Yeah. A tiny little fur baby here. I don't want to wake him, but I do almost anything for a cuddle right now. I'm going to try to sit next to him. Maybe if I stay here long enough, they'll, they'll know I'm a friend and they'll want to cuddle. Oh my gosh, I'm so desperate for an animal to cuddle me right now. I heard a rumor there is a convent and the nuns sing uh, at 8 p.m. So I'm gonna head there now. It's almost eight and see if this is a, see if this is a real thing. <laughs> it would be really beautiful if so. lady nuns I've ever met in my life. They were so welcoming and they each greeted me and I was one of three pilgrims there. But then they gave us, um, all three of us, these necklaces. There's something really just about the, the community recognizing this pilgrimage and being so supportive that it means something in a, a way I can't really describe, but it's probably one of the sweetest parts of this experience is going to the prayers and the, the churches. So sweet. The owners here went and got soy milk for me in case I wanted a cafe con leche, which is basically a latte. I don't drink coffee, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the Spanish cafe con leche with soy milk a try. It's quite nice. So sweet. Okay. Bye, Glenn. Bye, Bye Jose. Bye, bye. Gracias. I gotta get going. It's the second day on the Maceta. I think I'm already overdressed. <sighs> Here we go. Let's feeling good about this. I think it's just another pretty flat day. Let's go. <laughs> I am feeling absolutely fantastic, as my dad says, today. It's such, I don't know, I'm really loving this. It's just pretty level, flat. Walking, the sun is out, the birds are loud per usual. There's actual pilgrims on the walk today. Scene four. So we're up four from yesterday. I knew people were out here. I don't even know where they came from though. This is good to know if you look for signs, like there's this little road that's coming off. I wouldn't thought much of it, except I saw a guy coming off and realized there's a sign that says Fuente. When I see it, it usually means that there's a water fountain. So I'll just look for anything that says Fuente and has a little Camino. Looks like they, there is a water fountain for you to use. Definitely need to go pee. And I'm on my period. And there's people not too far behind me. And there's nowhere to go. There is nowhere to hide. And because I'm on my period, I don't want to have to rush in case things get messy. So I'm sure you can understand. So there's just a wheat on both sides, and I'm not about to get in that field. There are snakes, by the way, on the Camino Francis, so 
Just an FYI, I don't like go jumping into the bushes and using the restroom. I don't know what that looks like on, on screen, but that's beautiful. Okay. Okay, people, I'm gonna try using the restroom real quick. So there's this mound of rocks, but I don't wanna get too close to it because I know snakes sometimes hide in rocks. But I think I can use the restroom right here. I don't think anybody's coming. I'm gonna try this real quick. Okay, success. Something I would highly suggest bringing. I'm on my cycle and I wanted to bring something a little bit more than toilet paper. So I brought these Intimate Wipes by NatraCare. I'll put a link down in the description below. And I always carry one of these because when you're on your bleed, it can get a little bit messier or I don't know, you have anything else going on, it's nice to have something, it's nice to have wet wipes. Trust me, you want them more than just regular toilet paper. Two, I don't leave anything out here. Bring a Ziploc bag so you can dispose of your wipes. Please do this. Um, there's so much trash. There's way more than I could have ever imagined on this trail because people just leave it literally on the trail and it's, it's kind of disgusting. Sometimes you th see things you don't want to see, you know what I mean? And you can always just dispose of this later. So I just put mine in my bag like I'm doing right now. And then I just put it back in my backpack somewhere that, you know, I don't have to see it or really look at it. <laughs> and then you can throw it away later and reuse the Ziploc bag, of course, too. Or you can get a reusable plastic baggie and just rinse it out, wash it um, at the end of every night. Huge help for me, um, both of those things. Bathroom mission successfully completed. Generally, I feel like you can hold it on the Camino, but sometimes you just can't. And I want to mention this guy I met earlier, we were talking about the bathroom at breakfast. And Paul from LA told me this, go before you go or else you have to go on the go. Use the restroom in the morning before you go. Just try one more time before you head out. Cause I swear everybody's like, ah, 30 minutes in, it always happens. So have your coffee if you need to. Wait a little bit, then head out. <laughs> so apparently the place where I'm staying tonight in De Sola Sol is of significance to the Camino now. Apparently, the owner's daughter or their sister married Emilio Estevez. And Emilio Estevez and Martin Sheen, of course, produced or directed The Way, which if you're watching this and you're a Camino fan, you will most likely know the movie The Way. If you have not watched it, definitely check it out. That's the rumor I heard. Is it true? I don't know but I'm gonna ask, see if I can find out. <laughs> okay, so I can clear this up. This is the owner, what was your name again? Samuel, oh. Samuel, yeah. <laughs> this is Samuel. Hello, how are you? <laughs> he is the owner here at De Sola Sol. De Sola Sol. Yes. Okay, so Amelia Estevez, you are uh, familiar. My sister. Ah. Yes, she's married with Amelia Estevez's son. Ah. His son, Taylor, is my brother-in-law. He's a very nice person. Oh, that's so yeah, great to I hear. Love you. And my sister, my sister Martin, Emilio, and Taylor. Oh, that's so sweet. Your place was part of the inspiration. My parents' place. Your parents' yes, place. It's in, ah. the, in the movie. That's me. Oh. Many years ago. What a sweet coincidence! This is so amazing. So I watched the way. Originally, like, I don't know, this had to be like five years ago or something like that. Didn't even think about doing the Camino, but I thought, oh, that's cool. And then one day it randomly popped back into my head and I said, oh, I'll go walk that. Okay. So crazy. Anyway, come to Del Sol so He is so sweet. That is so, I love the coincidence. And he brought up my bag for me. Everybody in this region has been bringing up my bag for me. And he said, I'll also get it for you tomorrow morning because it's so heavy, which I think is so, so sweet. But I do not expect people to bring my luggage up to my room, but he did. And thank you, Samuel, you're amazing.
so this morning as I'm getting ready, I'm noticing that I'm just in this rush. Like I'm telling myself, oh, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. And given if you have a luggage transport, you have to have your luggage down by 8 a.m. But it's not 8 a.m. <laughs> Definitely noticing that and reflecting how much I rush in life. I'm just like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. But for no reason, <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. And that's the medicine that I'm getting from the walk this morning is why am I rushing through things? To be timely is one thing, but why must you be in a rush? Or why must I be in a rush? I guess I'm gonna be walking with that this morning. <laughs> Actually, not I guess I am. I'm gonna to choose to walk with that and really meditate on why I'm rushing through life. The pictures on the wall here at De Solosol are absolutely incredible. There are all these pilgrims that I think the owner's brother, from my understanding, has taken pictures of, and they're just so incredible. Check these out. I know you're all curious what I'm wearing here today on the Camino fashion vlog. Um, I decided to wear shorts today. I don't know how this is gonna go. I am hoping they don't ride up into my crotch. It's supposed to be 90 degrees, so it seemed like a good idea at the time. Will it be? Time will tell. The birds, though. Every day, the birds love it here in Spain. They're living their best bird life. My favorite moments are these moments in the morning. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. Only the second building I've seen. Okay, apparently this little place is open. So they have vegan menu. Of all places, it's the oddest places that have vegan menus. to be a symbol of the Camino de Santiago. Prior to walking, I heard the lines on the shell represent the different routes pilgrims travel from all over the world, all converging to one point, the burial of St. James in Santiago de Compostela. We now are gifted or purchased the shells ourselves before we set out on our journey. a sweet little stop if you've ever considered walking the Camino you're going to one of the pieces of advice I would give is to always stop at not always but at least do it a few times stop at the little in-between places not the major stops stay overnight or at least just stop at the bar or restaurant cafe that's in between. My gratitude levels as I walk are just so, I don't, I'm, it's helping me expand my capacity to receive because my gratitude is so full right now. <sighs> Life is, it was really amazing right now. It's such a blessing. Yeah. Hot out here. It's reaching about 90 degrees. Fahrenheit and the wide open. Keep looking over here. Oh, those really beautiful trees and the shade and the wind blowing through them. It just seems like that would be nice if the trail was over there, but it's not. It's here in the sun. I've walked probably about 14 kilometers and my feet are just beginning to really hurt for the day. The pain of just walking is 
once that kicks in, I know that like right now I need to keep walking because if I stop, it almost makes it harder. Yes, so close. I'm probably like a half a mile from my stay right now. Ooh. Hi, puppy. Aw, the cat doesn't particularly want to snuggle with me. Quite disappointing. Ooh. I thought I was hitting a wall five kilometers ago, but definitely hitting it now. I keep focusing. Check into my hotel. Just taking a seat. My feet are doing something, but I feel really good that I completed my walk today. I am so happy right now. Hi. Oh, is that the belly? Is that your belly? <gasps> yeah. Hi, Barbie. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this since I started the Camino. <sighs> it feels good to be in the room right now. I'm noticing how sunburnt I am. I wore shorts today, as you all saw earlier. Great idea, except for the fact that I didn't put on sunscreen. <laughs> and I got burned on my arm, but check this baby out. Look at this, very much a little lobster. And that is just the beginning. Ah, so I'm gonna take a cold shower for sure. But I also realized today while I was walking, I'm at the halfway point to Santiago. Uh, I'm not even sure how to express how I feel on that right now because I I have mixed I have so many different emotions I'm also like really did I really walk that far I don't think so and I think back on some of the pain that I've gone through and everything but this is going by so fast and I'm remembering that my walk is always continued by the way I walk through life that's what I'm really carrying, but in this moment right now, I'm like really halfway to Santiago. Oh, it's just flown by. I can't believe it. I'm, I, I'm in shock right now. Yeah. <laughs> halfway, baby. 